So I made a video uh, with a very, very, very simple, basic explanation of how to install this amazing program called Cold Turkey Blocker. Uh, I'm not related to this program or to the developer. I'm not getting paid for this. I just really like this program and I use it all the time. So I made this really like easy to follow introduction, very basic, very basic language. Um, and I was afraid it was a little too basic maybe for some people, but it, um, well, has, it has gathered over 2000 views by now, which is quite surprising, but um, it seemed there's a, a demand for it for some kind of installation guide. So that's why I've decided to continue with the original plan of the, uh, the whole guide, which is not just about installing a program. I also said in like, if you already know how to safely install programs or whatever, you can skip ahead to the second video. Well, that took some months, but here I'm, I am with the second video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving an, an equally simple explanation of how the program works in the most basic way, because I think that's the most important step to understand why this is actually so effective. So when you go to your um, desktop, you'll see the option if after installation, you'll see the option for the program. So I, this is very vanilla. I have nothing installed. I have no settings, uh, like nothing's changed from, from the, the absolute bare minimum. Uh, I have also not upgraded this to my uh, pro version. For this one, we're going to assume that you're not necessarily going to buy the pro version. I think it's a great investment. I think it's absolutely uh, worth it, maybe even necessary. Uh, by the way, I'm not getting any money from this so uh, it's just my personal recommendation uh, but if you want to use this program for free uh, either way this video is fine because you'll uh, we'll just look at the most basic things that you need uh, to consider so when you open this program for the first time it already gives you a block so normally maybe it would start like this well there's no information here because you have no active blocks there's nothing scheduled if you then go to the blocks uh, section so this is the most important part of the program. So here you can make your own lists with uh, blocked websites. And in case you have the pro version also with uh, apps, when you first open this for the first time, there is a pre-installed kind of list with a lot of websites that are distracting, known to be distracting. And you can use this. Uh, so we'll use that. I think he also, I see he also added some porn sites. So. There's a lot of inspiration here for things to block. And uh, if you want to use this list, you can go ahead. Um, first, before I explain uh, how this section works, how the, the most basic blocking in this program works, I also want to show you that if you go here to frozen Turkey, this is a function to uh, block your computer altogether. This is actually really, really interesting. If you want some offline time, for example, uh, if you want to concentrate on uh, something else that has nothing to do with computers, if you need to do some chores at home, whatever, it's, it's really useful because it blocks you uh, temporarily from using your computer. And I'll show in a, a next video how you can like change settings for this, how it works. For example, it can lock your screen or it can totally shut off your computer. And uh, I'm not going to talk much about this in this video because I just mostly want to talk about how this basic block list works. So if you go here, let's just assume we have a terrible addiction to amazon.com and I'm, I'm buying um, comic books the whole day and I don't have any money. So anything I, 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 I earn uh, goes directly to these comic books. So I make Marvel very happy and well, me not so much. So this is just one example of the millions of problems you can have with the internet. Let's say I don't, I really don't like amazon.com. So I just, um, go here and it asks me, what do you want to block? Well, I do amazon.com. So this is the only link for now that we want to block. There are a lot of functions here, as you can see, website exec exceptions, applications. Uh, you can import lists. Like there are some things you can, uh, you are like, for example, if I click gambling, it adds, adds a lot of like websites and keywords, but that's not what I wanted to do. So if we go back and do amazon.com, the only thing that's really important here right now is that I want to save this and I'll save it as Amazon. So we now have a list called amazon.com and, uh, you know, this is a very basic explanation, but um just uh, bear bear with me here because i think it's really uh important to to get these basics down in the way this program works so let's say um i want to block this for a week because uh before i'm gonna buy any comics again 
uh, I want to make some money. So we'll press it uh, like this. We'll uh, turn it on. Um, so if we now go use a browser, so we go to if we go to Amazon.com. So we get this uh, blocked page. So there are also settings here we want to change later, but that's not important right now. But the most basic thing, uh, purpose of this program is that I cannot access this program. Um, so if I were to press it, uh, press here and uh, turn this off again, um, then I can visit the website again. But the point of this program is that it's going to take away your willpower. So if we if we press on here. Um, it gives you an option to uh, block it, so you can block it um, with a random text, with a password, with whatever. But we're going to use a timer here just to show you the example of blocking something for a week. So I'm just going to choose here. You can fill it in manually, but you can also just choose it here and press one week. Um, and then, yeah, this is another option. Do you want to turn it off automatically or not? It doesn't matter, these are all functions, but for now we're just going to press save on this week. Then it's going to tell you, like it's going to warn you what you're doing, because you're actually doing something that has effects, right? So I'm not going to get any Marvel comics from Amazon.com uh, for seven days. I mean, that's pretty much what it's saying. So, but I decide that I have a problem with the internet and uh, the internet is too much control over me. So I'm going to go ahead with this anyway. So I've now blocked this program. And that's great because so you can keep going to this website, but you'll see uh, the same screen pop on and again and again. And that's the most basic function of this program. It takes away the, um, like I said, it takes away the, the willpower aspect. So right now I cannot access Amazon.com with this computer. Of course, you, you need to tweak some things in order to prevent yourself from disabling this because now with this basic uh, setup, with no change settings, I can still evade it. I mean, a lot of people probably don't even know how to do that, but I will explain later what settings you need to enable to make it really, really hard for yourself to evade this. And I always want to warn that website blocking is not a golden solution. I mean, it's pretty, pretty close to gold to me, but there are always ways you can fool yourself. But the best thing about this is that you can at least do two things. You can slow that down to an extreme extent. And you can also impose a certain discipline on yourself that you don't need willpower for. Because now, right now, I cannot visit Amazon. And there's no way I'm going to be able to use that, that website right now. So I might as well just do something productive. So you take away the distractions and you make the internet, you turn the internet into something that serves you instead of the other way around of the internet draining your energy and your time by endlessly distracting you. So that's also why this list is called distractions because the whole point is we wanna tackle all the distractions on the internet and this program, at least if you're on a, on a computer, so on Windows or Mac, uh, this is absolutely the best tool there is to to gain that level of of, of concentration and to beat procrastination and in that sense this program is absolutely amazing so in the next video we'll look at some uh, some other things you can uh, do with this program that are less basic like this but i just wanted to show you the the, the the easiest way to block a lot of a lot of the temptations on the internet you can block them permanently and uh, there, there are so many options but let's uh, customize it further in the other videos and uh, thanks for listening to this video